All right. Good afternoon, everyone. If people are coming in, uh, we'll go ahead and start so we can be mindful of everyone's time. Uh, just want to say this webinar is exclusively for KPCA members and will be hosted by Care Message, which is an organization of nonprofits and focused on leveraging text messaging uh, to help self, self uh, to help uh, safety net organizations uh, reach underserved population. And uh, like I said, this webinar is for KPCA members and Care Message. Uh, currently has a free texting solution for all the KPCA members. And uh, to learn more, I'm going to turn it on to our presenters for today, who will be able to, uh, uh, you know, provide more details about the program. Right. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. And we're grateful for this opportunity today. My name is Mary Wiley Pate. Um, I actually live in the Southeast. Um, I'm in South Carolina. And I am one of the senior account executives here at Care Message. But just to go through real quickly, we've kind of been through the welcome. I wanted to share a little bit of background on Care Message and who we are. Um, we'd like to take you through a solutions overview. So we're going to talk a little bit about our full platform. But really, for the purpose of today's webinar, I'd like to focus on CM Light and also talk a little bit around our strategies around COVID-19 vaccine and sharing about 10 minutes at the end so we can have um, that open for Q&A. So just a little bit about Care Message. Um, we're a nonprofit healthcare technology organization and our focus is really on helping safety net organizations that are serving underserved populations leverage mobile technology, specifically SMS messaging to communicate with their patients. Um, we're the nation's largest patient engagement platform specifically for underserved populations. We serve over 8 million patients across about 350 partners. I believe we're in over 43 states now across the country. 95% or plus of our partners are safety net clinics uh, that include community health centers, FQHCs, free and charitable clinics, and organizations um, that really reside in that domain. Um, what organizations are able to utilize through Care Message is we are a HIPAA compliant platform and we help them use mobile technology, specifically text messaging, in a more automated fashion to help them streamline communication. So really just to help you automate workflows, to help you collect data from patients, all with a focus of improving outcomes and impact and overall patient engagement. So that's really been our focus for the past eight years since we launched in 2013. We've really been hyper-focused over the last 15, 16 months on COVID responses and vaccine communication. Um, one of the core aspects of Care Message is the work that we've done with both free and charitable clinics and FQHCs just to see the success with using texting as a mechanism for communication. So really just kind of going through, um, I wanted to share a little bit about what we're offering FQHCs. Um, as a mission-driven nonprofit organization, when COVID was suddenly upon us last year, on the right-hand side, we developed a light version of our platform. Um, unlike our fully integrated platform, which takes about 10 to 12 weeks to implement, um, CM Light can be provisioned in a couple of days. It's standalone, so it doesn't it mean it requires any IT involvement. So patients and staff are uploaded through File Center, and then you'll have access to two features group outreach. So these are for like your campaigns, your quality measures, direct messenger. Um, so from a HIPAA compliant platform, you'll have the ability to do two way texting with your patients. Um, we've had over 150 FQHCs and probably around 50 free and charitable clinics take advantage of CM Light. And um, we're very grateful to have facilitated over 50 million COVID related messages through our CM Light and our full platform partners. Um, this all has been made possible through philanthropic dollars from J&J &J and Salesforce and KKR. So that's the light version. The light version um, is zero dollars and can be used for at least 60 days. On your left, just real quickly, even though that's not going to be the focus of our time today, I just wanted to share kind of what our full platform looked like. So the first one, I mean, driving down no-show rates is really, really important. So we really focus on that with our appointment reminders with bi-directional appointment reminders. So that means with your EMR, we're confirming and canceling those appointments in your EMR. Um, we're very metric and data-driven. So group outreach, that's where you're gonna be launching campaigns. You'll get patients in for screenings. It also is a place where you can really start meeting your quality measures. 
Um, as I keep saying, we are a HIPAA compliant platform with that one-on-one -on -one communication. So think about direct messenger for your case managers or your care coordinators or your providers, or even for your front desk staff to confirm same day appointments, just to make sure they have transportation or if they need childcare. Um, really, you know, empowering your patients to take better care of themselves on a daily basis. We offer educational programs that are based on the chronic conditions of the underserved. And it's really more like health coaching for behavioral change. So many FQHCs that we work with today, they're still doing patient satisfaction surveys manually. So we do have an automated six question survey on our site. And also last but not least, our newest feature is around referrals. We know what a challenge it can be um, to really close the loop on referrals. So this is really uh, four automated messages that go out um, to your patients. So that CM light on the right, which is free, and then our full platform on the left. So just to talk a little bit, um, I, I just kind of wanted to share a little bit about some of the tools and templates that you get as part of CM Light. Um, we've created over 80 COVID and vaccine related messages. Um, these targeted templates are great. So you can use ours and edit them, or you can absolutely personalize your own messages. You can embed links to videos or social media as well. Um, we had Dr. Ignace of Gerald Ignace and FQHC up in Wisconsin. He put a video out of himself receiving the vaccine on a YouTube video. Um, we also offer everything that we do in culturally relevant English and Spanish. Um, these are the languages that we offer translation in today, but we are working on expanding that. But we have FQHCs in California that are sending out symbols in like Mandarin and Arabic. So the platform will accept other languages. Um, all the content that we've created on our site is at a sixth grade reading level or below. Um, we've sent out multiple choice messages asking patients about safety concerns, vaccine hesitancy, and also, you know, just things around the availability or, or like things like uh, eligibility for 12 and over, like testing locations, something as simple as a clinic closure or social or emotional support. So just a lot of good, you know, there's a lot of misinformation out there. So having this come from a reliable resource really goes a long way. Um, so just to kind of summarize a little bit, I, I just wanted to kind of go through and kind of share with you. I think I skipped one. Oh, so just kind of wanted to go through and kind of share with you um, just some examples of uh, some of the vaccine messages that have been sent out. I know that there was um, a health center in Texas scheduled a batch of 900 vaccines, um, and it took them a lot of time to get those messages out. Um, but they were able that it took, I think, was it six staff members? It took them 192 hours. We were able to take that down to two staff members in two days. Um, a health center in Louisiana um, did outreach to patients over the age of 70 about eligibility. We had a lot of good responses. Yes, that they would like to come in for that. And a lot of the ones that did respond no had already received the vaccine. And also a health center in Arizona used care message to communicate to its pa patient population. And they were sending out a link. We've heard a lot about sending out links for self-scheduling. And as a result of sending out that link for self-scheduling, they saved 116 hours and they were able to schedule over 700 appointments. So let's go ahead and move quickly on to the demo because I want to show you how easy the site is to use. Let me go share my screen again. It says everybody's seeing my screen, so I hope everybody's seeing my screen. Um, after the call today, we can send you a copy of the PowerPoint and it has access to that vaccine um, and COVID-19 library that you can use. But this is always coming up just to remind you that here's our library of templates that you can use when you're using the site. So we are software as a service located securely in the cloud. This is our landing page. One thing that you'll pick up throughout the demonstration is that since we have to be very data and metric driven, that we have dashboards with every feature. On the landing page, our dashboard is simply showing you the patients that haven't been messaged in 12 months and the patients that haven't been messaged in the last three. On the left-hand side is your navigation bar. So let's kind of talk through the workflow of CM Light and how that would work. 
We do offer online support. So remember the chatbot is your friend. You can either talk to one of our customer success managers or you can go in and you can type in upload a file and it will give you step-by-step -step instructions of how to get your patient information into Care Message. You can also reach out to me or support at caremessage.org. So the first thing that you'll need to do in order to start using Care Message is that you'll need to bring in your patients into File Center. What you would do is you would download that patient data from your EMR into a CSV file and upload it through File Center. I'll show you real quickly the kind of data that you need to bring over. Don't think you'll ever have to enter a patient, in, uh, patient record manually. You'll bring this all in automatically. All we need is a first name, a last name. We need at least one phone number. We do offer mobile scrubbing, so we'll never be trying to text to a landline and a language. There's some additional information that you can bring over as well, like date of birth, sex, ethnicity, and race. So if I wanna look for all of my uh, females between 21 and 65 that are due for a pap. But those are just the required fields. It's just a first name, last name, a phone number, and a language. So the way that you get information into Care Message is through File Center. It's very simple that you just go in and you upload a file. And we do recommend that when you're importing patients, unless you're doing mass communication with all your patients, that you go ahead and separate them into cohorts or groups. And I'll give you an example of what that looks like. That, this literally will take about five minutes. The first phase you go through is a matching phase. And that matching phase, I'm simply matching my column header to the information below. And the, what's the most important one here is my diabetic group. This will automatically create a group for me. So when I'm communicating any kind of campaign to that diabetic group, I just need to go in and find diabetic group and I send, um, I launch the campaign out to them. You'll then go through a verify stage, which will go through and it will highlight things in red. If I've got a phone number wrong or if I've got any other information that's wrong, um, it, that'll highlight, I don't know where it went. That'll highlight that for me. I need to get it to come back, sorry guys. That'll just highlight that for me. So I go in, I upload the file, I go into matching, then I go in through verify, then it's imported, then I'm ready to go. With CMLite, you'll have access to two features. One is outreach, which is that one-to-many, and one is messenger, which is one-to-one. -one. So let's go and look at outreach first. Outreach is the, probably the most heavily utilized feature on the Care Message platform. One, because it's so easy to use. Two, because it helps you communicate all kinds of information to your patients. And also, most important, it helps you meet those quality measures. As I said, with each feature, you're gonna have a dashboard. So this is simply just showing me the campaigns that I've launched out there. So if I wanna go in and check up on a campaign, here's one that was for a patient recall, a pick a time. So this is a, um, a multiple choice question. I can see the question that's been asked. I can even get a bar chart and exactly who's responding to what. And most importantly, I get my metrics over here that it went to 21 patients and I had a pretty good response rate of 68.4%. But this is just the top layer. You can drill down into your patients. This is kind of where all your online or your real-time reporting lives. So this is just a dashboard showing me exactly how people have started responding to me. I have the, the trail of exactly what they're saying. I can look at the response flag. I can see if there are any error messages. I can pull up everyone that might've responded no or no response or I can download a report. But one of our new features that's really, really come in handy is if I had someone, let's say that Thad, Thad didn't respond at all. So instead of picking up the phone and calling Thad, all I have to do is hover over Thad's name. I can send him a direct text message, ask him for clarification, and I'm done. So with each campaign that you launch, you're always gonna have a dashboard of exactly what the metrics are. You can edit it, you can delete it, you can drill down into it and get all of your reporting information that you need. So I'll show you real quickly how easy it is to create an outreach. So I go in and the first thing I need to do is decide who I wanna be in this campaign. On the left-hand side, um, I've got status, language, age, and sex. I can go through and I can filter that way, but I was referring to that group, what I say the easy button is. I can simply go in and it's automatically created that diabetic group for me. So all I have to do is click on that, simply go in and apply. I select all of my patients I wanna be in this campaign. I save my changes that I'm ready to go. 
Then I can come through and I can use one of Care Message's many, many, many templates that have already been created for you in culturally relevant English or Spanish. Um, and just to show you an example, I've got my, my diabetic one in here. It comes up automatically for me and populates in English and Spanish. You can use these as they are, or you can go through and you can edit them. You can personalize them with patient first name or provider last name. This one is a no response needed. Remember, I can embed links to videos or to social media or anything I want here. I think probably most popular for this is just clinic closures, something you just need to get out quickly. But no response needed is one way you can communicate with your patients. You have four ways in which you can communicate. You can do multiple choice. So multiple choice, I really think of as like fit kits for some reason are never returned. So I can say, we sent you a fit kit, A, did you receive it? B, can you return it? Or C, do we need to send you another one? I can also do communication for open-ended, which simply means that the patient has a free form text field in which to respond. Or I can do a yes or no. That could be something as simple as a flu shot reminder. I'll show you an example real quick. Um, here's a flu shot reminder just saying, did you get your flu shot this season? You know, if they say yes, we're saying great, we recommend you get one. If they say no, we still recommend you get one. We'd like for you to come into the clinic. So use ours, create your own template. They're very easy to do or edit ours. Four ways in which to communicate with your patients. Multiple choice, no response, open ended or yes or no. The method comes from the patient profile. We do offer both text and voice. Then all we have to do is schedule them. The hour, the minute, XM is AM or PM and the frequency in which we want them to take them out. If it's a new template, save it as a template so you can use it again. If it's, some, if it's one of ours, just create the campaign and it launches. So that's everything in outreach, but think of outreach for your COVID related messages, for your vaccine related messages. The multiple choice is great for really just trying to understand anything around vaccine hesitancy and concern. So you can start kind of partitioning them, them in different groups and then doing other communication with them. So quality measures, vaccine uh, measures and just all around communication with your patients. So that's outreach, which is one to many. The other is Messenger, which is one-to-one. -one. So Messenger, really we've set this up to look like an Outlook inbox. So the blue dots indicate that I have not yet um, uh, communicated back with Deborah or Morgan. But the way this works is it needs to be initiated by your office. So you just type in the first letter of the patient's name. I wanna communicate with Blair. The first time you communicate with a, your patient, it will be an area code from uh, the Kentucky area code, but they won't know who it is. So I could say, this is Mary Wiley. I'm your case coordinator with Care Message. We can communicate this way Monday through Friday. With each person I communicate, I'll, ha I'll have the trail in here of everything that we've said to each other. So I'll always have that documentation. And then another thing that we've created because we've seen such a spike in the use of um, direct messenger is we've started creating templates. So think about your care managers, your case coordinators, your front desk staff, that you can just go in and maybe I've got availability. We can use this template and just push things out this way. So using templates, you can use ours or create your own. I think the top use cases for this could be COVID positive or negative messages quickly to a patient. Um, if it's something that's sensitive PHI, since you'll probably be texting to some burner phones and, and, and flip phones, then we recommend you just do a link to your portal or have them to contact the office. We've seen this used for a virtual waiting room to please text this number when you arrive in our parking lot. Or most importantly, I think um, we have seen this used to confirm same day appointments. Like if it's a, te a telehealth appointment, here's a link, or here is your same day appointment, it's at two o'clock, do you need help with transportation or childcare? So that's Messenger. So that's everything that's part of CM Light. We can have it provisioned in a couple of days. It does require that you sign a two page agreement. It is for $0 for at least up to 60 days. It does not automatically convert into the full platform and will support you along the way. So I think I'm kind of coming up on my time here, but I was just gonna go real quickly um, into, we do offer bi-directional appointment reminders. That's something that takes a little bit longer and does have a cost involved with the full platform. We offer HL7 or API integrations with most EMRs. Um, and then also we offer education programs. 
it's the field that I came from. These are great because we're really seeing patients not come into the office quite as much. So these are geared around the chronic conditions like diabetes, hypertension, nutrition, smoking cessation, that is health coaching, that they can get messages all during the week that help them, you know, with friendly reminders of what to do or pushing out links to them um, of, you know, resources or food resources or things they might need if they're in the nutrition program, for example. This is also where our patient satisfaction survey lives, um, which I can, I'm happy to share with you um, after the call. And then also we offer referrals. And these are simply four automated messages that go out to the patients based on the referral when it's been open and approved and following them all the way until after they have attended that appointment 24 hours of the month, day and year to ask if they actually attended. So that's everything. So CM Light, just before we go into Q&A, you will bring your information in through File Center. You'll have the chat bot and you'll have access to two features, Outreach and Messenger. The full platform includes everything from integrated appointment reminders, Messenger outreach referrals programs, and also that includes some of our gaps in care programs and social determinants of health and the patient satisfaction survey. So I'll pause there and want to open it up for any questions that I might get answered. Thank you very much. We do have one question here for you. All right. Uh, are these messages provided with a link to open the conversation in the web browser? Can you ask that? Can you ask that, that, that compliant? I'm sorry. I, I didn't, I, I couldn't hear you. There was a little bit of. So are Could... these messages provided with a link to open the conversation in a web browser? And it continues, I'm confused. How an SMS text is HIPAA compliant? These are SMS messages that come directly from a HIPAA compliant platform to their cell phone. So it would come in the form of an SMS text message. Within those text messages, we can offer a link that might be to a self scheduler or a link that might be to a YouTube video, but they are SMS messages. Question is not listed yet, but I, I want to see what would, would be the process. How long would it take from start to finish to implement a, a, a clinic with a care message? Sure. With CM Light, um, it takes us about two days to provision the mm -hmm. account. Um, I offer thirty-minute training sessions to the staff members, and we've seen people use that that day because it's just easy to go in and upload a file and start sending out outreach campaigns. With, with CM Light, you do get um, a quick start guide, you get best practices, you get, um, you'll see right here on my slide that you'll get access to the message library, to videos. So there's a lot of things that we provide to support you for getting started, um, but we're also here to support you with, with training sessions as well. Are you working with any clinics in Kentucky right now? Sure, we work with Big Sandy, and I think there are a couple others too. I can provide that list to you after the call then. And we'll send every, we can send everybody a copy of this because it'll give them the link to the library um, and then um, just the other information. Thirty minutes is a good time for a webinar, but it's not always a lot of time just to go into specific use cases. Um, I'm, I'm happy to follow up with anyone that would be interested. Well, we appreciate your time. Uh, that was very helpful and very informative. Um, that's the uh, I think I posted the link here to schedule a call. Uh, and we'll we'll share that with our members as well. Uh, the contact information if they do want to schedule a one on one call with you guys. But we do appreciate your time, and uh, if more questions come our way, we'll forward them to you. You guys can do the same. All right. Well, thank 
everyone for your time today and y'all have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.